Hello, I'm Jim Bedwell. I'm the forest supervisor on the Arapaho and Roosevelt National Forest and Pawnee National Grassland in Colorado. Landscapes have long been recognized and appreciated for their aesthetic qualities. Beautiful views and far vistas nourish the human body and spirit. Our national forest lands contain an abundance of rich and varied landscapes. And as our world becomes more complex and more urbanized, these natural and cultural landscapes are essential as psychological rest stops. We need to manage these important resources to ensure their continued value as counterpoints to today's increasingly crowded and busy society. Today, the emphasis on resource extraction-based economies, such as timber harvesting and mining, has declined in many regions. Some communities are turning to recreation and tourism as economic alternatives. At the same time, people living in cities are finding it more important to spend time refreshing themselves in nature. Economists tell us that tourism is rapidly becoming the leading industry in many regions, both in the U.S. and abroad. In fact, recreation is the fastest growing use of our national forests and grasslands. In response to these trends, the recreation agenda, an important component of the Forest Service strategic plan, encourages using scenery management and social science-based market research to plan and improve recreation opportunities. It emphasizes the enjoyment of scenery and natural settings as central to a quality recreation experience. It also encourages support for communities that are building tourism and recreation programs. SMS reflects this shift in emphasis and offers improved tools for incorporating scenery management into our existing planning processes. When the visual management system was introduced in 1972, it was an important innovation. As an agency in the years since then, our thinking and our processes have evolved. The VMS focused on the landscape as if it were a snapshot in time. The SMS provides a means to capture the dynamic nature of landscapes. Where the VMS considered human-created features as negative impacts to be reduced or eliminated, the SMS recognizes that some introduced elements, such as historic structures, are valued by the public for their aesthetic qualities. In addition, we have many new tools available that change the way we work, the levels of information we are able to gather, and what we are able to do with that information. On most forests, the original VMS inventory is overdue for an update. Implementation of the scenery management program will provide this needed update and will ensure that we have the best information available to accomplish current and future planning efforts. Fortunately, much of the original inventory information will be useful and the addition of tools like GIS and other computer-based programs will make an update far easier and more comprehensive. The SMS inventory begins by developing descriptions of the landscape character based on ecological and cultural information. This approach recognizes that landscapes are dynamic and that disturbance regimes are a key factor in the appearance of landscapes. It acknowledges that landscapes develop and change over time through both human and natural influences. It also recognizes that the public values some cultural features. Inclusion of this information also makes it easier to integrate scenery with other resources. Constituent input is a major part of the SMS process. SMS makes use of tools such as visitor surveys, public meetings, and direct public contact to help define scenery values. SMS recognizes that humans have helped to create landscapes and that there may be scenic value in some historic and human-altered or cultural landscapes. Cultural features that people find attractive or settings they consider important are included in the landscape character description the base of the scenery inventory. Elements people find negative or detracting from the landscape character are also identified, but as part of the existing scenic integrity process. Constituent information gathered and used during the scenery inventory also provides valuable input to other planning processes. 
The SMS inventory results in the assignment of numerical ratings to each segment of national forest lands and grasslands. These ratings, called scenic classes, indicate the relative importance of scenery. Where the VMS identified visual quality objectives as an end product of the resource inventory, the scenery management system utilizes scenic classes and other information from the scenery inventory to collaboratively develop management goals and objectives. Goals and objectives for scenery management are then established as a result of integrated resource planning rather than as an output of an individual resource inventory. SMS is a positive step toward meeting our mission in a changing world. The improved process we use to define and manage scenery is consistent with agency goals. It incorporates people's values and reflects the concerns of our local, regional, and national constituents. Through application during the planning process, the improved scenery management system supports management decisions that lead to healthy and attractive landscapes and helps gain public support for management activities. In a book called The National Forest Idea, published in 1991, Alfred Runty stated, there is no question that the national forests are major contributors to an American sense of place, to an identity with landscape that transcends economics for its own sake. The founders of the national forest idea were consistent in their advocacy for landscape aesthetics. The forests not only should be functional, they should be beautiful as well. As managers of national forests and grasslands, healthy, vibrant landscapes are the ultimate goal. Landscapes that not only look attractive, but are sustainable as well. Doing the best job possible of managing scenery will help ensure the public lands under our care continue to provide not only wood, water, soil, forage, and all the other resources, but also settings for human experiences that define the quality of life in our nation. As this country continues to grow, and as our population becomes more aware of the importance of National Forest System lands, we are constantly challenged to do a better job of preserving our scenic legacy for the welfare of our country, for our children, and for the generations to come. SMS will help us meet this challenge.